Good afternoon. Today we're going to discuss how creating a positive dining experience is key to the success of your restaurant. A smart restaurant owner needs to understand two major concepts about customer service. First, that there are many factors that contribute to making customers feel satisfied. And second, that a successful dining experience is built on contrast. Now, what do I mean by contrast? By this, I mean the restaurant staff must work hard so that customers can relax. I can't emphasize this enough. For today's lecture, I'd like you to take the perspective of a restaurant owner. Pretend that you're someone like me who starts a small restaurant because you love cooking and you love bringing enjoyment to people through food. Will this be enough to guarantee your customer satisfaction and your restaurant's success? The answer is no. With my first restaurant, I had a great time cooking, but I didn't understand the restaurant as a business and I lost lots of customers and lots of money. Unfortunately, this isn't uncommon. Many small independent restaurants don't succeed. In fact, only about one in five lasts more than five years. And this may surprise you. More than half of all restaurants are independent, according to the U.S. National Restaurant Association. We see chain restaurants like Applebee's and Denny's everywhere, but actually about half of all restaurants are independently owned. So what's the key to a restaurant's success? As I said at the outset, there are many factors. But let's consider one of the most essential factors in the dining experience, ambiance. First, a restaurant owner has to decide what kind of social experience to create for customers. A fun place, upscale, romantic perhaps? Then the owner must decide how to create that feeling. The type of furniture, the lighting, the decorations, the music, the table arrangements, and the clothes that the staff wear are components that work together to create an overall feeling, ambiance. Now, going back to our original two concepts, I'm going to illustrate how ambiance and other factors contribute to customer satisfaction and how contrast rules the restaurant business. Using an example, let's suppose there is a couple, uh, Justin and Kate. It's Kate's birthday. Justin decides to take Kate to an upscale, expensive Italian restaurant called Dante's. Justin calls and makes a reservation for Saturday night at 8 p.m. He tells them it's her birthday. Let's consider Justin and Kate's expectations for Saturday night. As far as the ambiance goes, their expectations are Dante's will be quiet, with soft music, tablecloths, candles and flowers, gentle lighting, and of course, very polite waitstaff. As for general expectations, Justin and Kate are looking forward to a special, memorable dinner. They want to feel pampered. They'd like the restaurant staff to pay attention and respond to their needs so that everything flows smoothly. There's another factor that makes customers feel satisfied. Of course, they expect delicious food. Dante's is known for its creative menu. If Justin and Kate are our typical customers with high expectations, how can a restaurant owner like Dante meet those expectations? First off, the restaurant owner and the staff must have a clear understanding of everything they need to do to make customers happy. They must also expect to work hard and be very well organized. This is another factor in the success of a restaurant. So, how does everything get done? 
Many restaurants like Dante's have a brigade system. A brigade is a group of workers. One brigade is at the front of the house. Here, house means restaurant, of course. They take care of the tables. The other brigade is at the back of the house. The cooks and the chefs, they take care of the kitchen. A successful restaurant, the owner and the staff, knows how to balance the flow between the front of the house, where the customers are, and the back of the house, the kitchen. Now, let's discuss in detail what happens at Dante's to prepare for a typical Saturday night. For the front of the house, the staff make sure the tables are ready, that everything is clean and in order. The flowers, the candles, the music, the lighting, the menus, everything that contributes to the ambiance. For the back of the house, the staff focus on the food itself. Now, back to Justin and Kate. They arrive at Dante's at 8 p.m. They are greeted and they are led to a beautiful table in a quiet corner. They enjoy a long leisurely dinner. At 10 p.m., they walk happily toward the door, feeling very content with the whole experience. What were the two main reasons? Dante's understood what it needed to do both in the front of the house and the back of the house, from the ambiance to the food, to meet their expectations. Plus, the restaurant staff worked hard so that Justin and Kate could do the opposite, relax. Success is built on understanding this contrast. Remember, so keep these two concepts in mind as you consider your future as a restaurant owner.